Well, new tonight, physical therapy is going virtual. Yeah, patients at One Health Center in Arkansas are entering a simulated world in order to help their mobility in the real world. Sensor strapped in, headset on. Let's try a different game here. Lou Treader is a physical therapist at the Baptist Health Rehabilitation Institute in Little Rock, Arkansas. He says this real, immersive system can be used for a wide range of patients. We uh, see a lot of neuro patients, so stroke, brain injury, spinal cord, uh, but we also see orthopedic patients. Each game targets a different area, whether it's balance. Say our patient has difficulty with sitting balance, moving forwards and backwards and, and reaching towards items. Or range of motion. I missed all of them. All while recording progress and giving feedback along the way. So maybe they start out only being able to bend their arm maybe 90 degrees, and we can program it to uh, for certain games that they get positive reinforcement if they get to that 100 degree range or 120 degree range or on up to a, a normal range. While working their body, most of these scenarios also have a component to work the mind as well. To work on their memory or sequencing of different uh, items. While you might be able to pass some games with flying colors, fantastic. others can be a little bit challenging. I quit. Okay. <laughs> But overall, Treader says this tool helps patients tap into their competitive side while also making them stronger each and every day. The more engaged they are in the activity, the more they buy into it, uh, the more likely they are to reach uh, the goals that they're trying to attain. That's pretty cool, and Baptist Health says each session is customized to the patient's needs. The Real Immersive System was created back in 2017 and was approved by the FDA back in 2019.